Earl J. T. Makan. Bunyashir Khan was the Mongol Khan of the Northern Yuan dynasty based in Mongolia. He was a son of El Bignigalus Yuchi Khan and younger brother of Gundi Makan. He was one of the Borjigan princes, such as Tuktamish and Timakulu, backed by Tamerlane to seize the throne. Early life Sagan II tells that Bunyashiri was born in 1379. Twenty years after his birth, his father, Elberg, was murdered by the Awirats led by Bahamu and Gilichi. In 1402, his older brother, Gunti Makan, was killed by Oreg T. Makan Gilichi in the struggle for the crown. Conversion to Islam due to internal struggles of the Mongols, the infant prince, Bunyashiri, fled to Beshbalik where Timur's governor stationed. Timur ordered his governor to receive him kindly. Bunyashiri converted to Islam while he stayed at the court of Timur in Samarkand thus making old J.T. Makan one of the very notable converts to Islam from the house of Kublai Khan. Abolishing the name Yuan by Gilichi however, Oreg T. Makan Gilichi's victory was short-lived when he made several grave miscalculations. The first was when he replaced the Mongol Khan with a Tartar Khan, alienating many other Mongol clans that were not Tartar. The second one was that Oreg T. Makan Gilichi abolished the name Great Yuan because he needed to show friendly and subordinating gestures towards the Ming dynasty so that he could consolidate his power and conquer other Mongol clans. This move was totally unacceptable to most if not all Mongols who wanted to recover their former glory and retake China proper by defeating the Ming Empire, which originally began as rebellions against the Yuan dynasty. Rise of Bunyashiri Taking the opportunity, Bunyashiri declared himself the new Khan with the title of Old Jatima at Beshbalik in 1403 and most Mongol clans soon rallied on his side. Arte of the ASUD acknowledged his suzerainty and was made Ching Sang to him. Earl J.T. Makan Bunyashiri's direct linkage of Genghis Khan line only further strengthened his position. Though Oreg T. Makan declared himself his Khan, his claim was not recognized by most Mongol clans. The Ming court stepped up its divide-and-rule tactics on northern Yuan Mongols by dispatching a eunuch, Wanam, to help Bunyashiri. Oreg Timi Khan Gilichi was soon defeated and although Gilichi's son continued to carry on the struggle for the position of the Khan all the way, till his death in 1425, they were never be able to pose any serious threat to Bunyashiri's force, whose main enemy was the Ming Empire. In 1409, the Ming court bestowed upon the Oirat leaders the title of Wang, exacerbating the Mongol Oirat conflict. Earl J. T. Makan attacked the four Oirats and failed to subjugate his stubborn subjects. After hearing of a new Borjigan ruler consolidating his power over the Mongols, the Yongle Emperor of the Ming Empire demanded Earl J. T. Makan to submit. The Mongol court decided to decline it and detained the Ming envoy. After they executed another Ming envoy in 1409, a punitive expedition of the Ming Empire led by Qiu Fu was crushed and the general and several other commanders lost their lives at the hand of Afte on September 23, 1409, war against Ming China. In response to the defeat of the Ming forces led by Qiu Fu, the enraged Yongle Emperor gathered a half a million strong force to launch a decisive campaign against Ol J. T. Makan Bunyashiri. Before the battle, Ol J. T. Makan and Afde could not agree on a plan of action and simply moved in different directions. Afte decided to withdraw to the east of Mongolia while Ol J. T. Makan Bunyashiri headed west and set up his ordo on the banks of the Onan River. He was suddenly forced to accept a battle in which the Ming army won a resounding victory by nearly completely wiping out his entire army in the 15th of June, 1410. Old J.T. Makan Bunyashiri was barely able to escape with his life with only seven horsemen and his son while all the rest were lost.
He was trying to reach the Chagatai Khanate where he grew up, capitalizing on the Khan's mistake. The Oirat leader, Muhammad, killed him in 1412 and installed his own puppet Khan, Delberg, on the throne in 1413. The death of old J.T. Makan Bunyashiri marked the temporary decline of the Borjigan line, and different Mongol clans fought each other for dominance.